Welcome back to the Huntington Center in downtown Toledo, Ohio. We're about to get started with our Wrangler Final Four Showdown round in the bareback riding. And Kelly Timberman, the Final Four riders are here, but let's talk about how the Final Four horses are here as well. Yeah, you know, with the PRS, one thing that we really pride ourselves on is the quality of athletes that we have here. Not only the athletes that are riding the animals, but the animal athletes themselves. When we come into a Wrangler Final Four Showdown, we've got horses in there that are scoring a 22 to a 24, 25 being perfect per side, you know. So these are the elite animals that are out there. We hand select them so they're consistent with one another. So it really basically, if a cowboy rides him, it's all on his shoulder to make the best ride compared to his other competitors. All right, let's show the viewers at home the matchups that we're gonna look forward to tonight. And we've talked about Justin McDaniels on Shane is Delight, but let's talk about Josie Young going up against Corona Sunrise. I tell you what, we picked this horse and uh, you know, he might be a little bit stronger than the rest of the field, but if Josie does things right, he can win the event on this horse. Well, McDaniels has the advantage with that big score of 82 last week. Remember, the scores will be combined to determine the champion. Let's introduce you to our pickup men. Working tonight are Sean Spaulding and Dave Bogner. And first up in the buck and shoots is Blade Elliott out of Livingston, Alabama, going up against Angel Delight. This kid has put everything he's got into being at this event to make the Final Four showdown, and I'm proud of him. Well, he split the win in Roanoke with Josie Young. He's off to a good start on a good horse from Raptor H Rodeo Company. Blade Elliott trying to make a name for himself in bareback riding. How's he doing so far? Well, I tell you what, this kid jumped out there, made a good mark out, kind of getting away from him a little bit on his feet. This horse is moving, you know, moving away and kind of giving him a lot of that shoulder, throwing his head in the air, making it hard to ride. This is a college kid. He's starting out the pro ranks and winning. He's doing great. So as long as he keeps going, stays aggressive, this guy's going to be one of our top players. Well, the scores are coming in from the judges. Again, half comes from the horse and half comes from how well you ride. 77 to start off the Wrangler final four round here in Toledo. Let's go to another young gun, the all around man that can work all three events. Here's Eric Wolford, number 20 in the bareback riding standings. He's had more outs total than any rider because he's worked so many events. He's on Sunflower from Raptor H. Yeah, the only problem Eric ever has is keeping his hand in the rig, and he was able to do it in the long goal. Let's see if he can do it here. Well, he's off to, oh, good start, and then just when you think he's going to make it, blows him out the back door like an ex-husband. Oh, I tell you what, what a pluck of the pin. That was an outstanding horse making a wonderful spur ride, 22 spur ride all the way until his hand came out of the rig. That right there cost that kid a first place spot. What a shot on the Rocky Boots replay there. Hard landing for Wolford, but he's more disgusted that he let that one get away. Now we'll go to the number three man who could move to number one after tonight, Josie Young. Now this is the fifth time that he's been to the Wrangler Final Four showdown. Yeah, he's qualified every single time. That's, that's a model of consistency. The one thing with this horse, he's got to really get his toes turned out and you can kind of see where he didn't get a hold with those spurs the way he's supposed to. Horse is kind of taking a little advantage of that and kind of yanking on him a bit. That's what happens when you don't get a hold with your feet. And his feet drop down in the, the cinch area down in the D rigging, and that's gonna cost him some points the last full second. You see on the Rocky replay, I wanna point out he's he's trying. Well, I tell you what, that horse right there was strong, really kicked, kinda of had a stumble out of there. Josie was able to recoup, came in, 77 point ride, real solid, just like always. But here comes Justin McDaniels and the matchup of the night. Painted ponies, Shane is delight. Justin McDaniel is number seven in points, but more importantly than that, he won the long round. I tell you what, this is one of the buckingest horses I've seen. This horse is phenomenal. Big, stout, and I think matched up with Justin, this is going to be phenomenal. Justin McDaniel trying to become the first man to win two Woo! events here this season. He won in Reading, and he has got a handful of horsepower here tonight. Wow. Man, oh man, Shane is tonight for Paint a Pony was no day off. Everything he wanted, maybe a little bit of then some. Whew, I tell you what, I knew that horse was going to be ranked today, but I didn't know she was going to be that ranked. Look at the jumping and kicking. Coming out across here, he's setting her. He's being aggressive. This horse turns back right here. He had to throw a few of those old bull riding moves in there just to get her covered. Yeah. The old college try, I tell you what, I'd have marked him 100 just for that college try at the end. That was impressive. He is going to get his second win of the season. 84 points on Shane's Delight. 
Justin wow. McDaniel wins his second event of the season, 166. He wins it by 10 points over Josie Young, who finishes number two. Blade Elliott and Eric Wolford round out the top four. Kelly, I know you had to run down there. You're out of breath, but let's hear from the champ. Tonight was the rankest I've ever seen that horse. She was unbelievable. Yeah, Jared Smith told me about that horse. I think he, he won an event on that horse. I knew I could win the, the event on this horse. She was a little better than I was expecting and almost bumped me off a couple of times. She really got to drop in there at the end and kind of kind of raised me up and kind of got my hips. And uh, about six or seven, I almost went over, over my rig in, but uh, luckily I got by her. Let's take a look at the updated season standings in bareback riding. We have a new season leader in Josie Young who moves ahead of J.R. Vizane after his second place finish. Justin McDaniel moves up to fourth from seventh and Blade Elliott moves up one place into the number seven spot. Coming up next, the final four in bull riding right here in Toledo.